In order to configure your Sierra wireless AirLink router running on the AirLink operating system, start by connecting to it by Ethernet. Then open a web browser and go to the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. You should be taken to a login page that looks like this. The default username is admin. The default password will be found on the bottom of the router. Click sign in once these are entered. Upon login, you'll be taken to the status monitoring dashboard. This will give a quick view of the status of the connections and location, if applicable. We'll start by checking the cellular connection since we use a custom access point name or APN for short. This has a Verizon SIM card and I see that it is using the default APN. To change this, set the APN mode to manual. Then enter the APN in the manual APN field to the right. Click save at the bottom of the page when done. At this time we can monitor the adapter status here and verify if the modem connects, and it looks like it has. We can also navigate back to the main status dashboard where we started and see the status has changed. Now we're going to head over to hardware interfaces and select Wi-Fi interfaces and the configuration. If your router does not support Wi-Fi, you may skip this section. Find the Wi-Fi radio you want to configure and click the pen icon to the far right. This will open the edit Wi-Fi interface window. Start by enabling the radio as it is typically disabled by default. For changes, we're just going to adjust the SSID name, the security mode, and the security password for connecting to Wi-Fi. If you're in a congested Wi-Fi area, you might adjust the channel for broadcasting, or for more security, you might adjust the number of Wi-Fi connections the router will allow. Click Update at the bottom of the window, then save at the bottom of the page. The last thing we're going to do is enable the 5 GHz Wi-Fi radio to act as a client connection so we can use our office network as an alternative WAN connection to the cellular. This is otherwise known as Wi-Fi as WAN or Wi-Fi as an internet connection. Click save at the bottom to save this setting and the Wi-Fi radio will start scanning for nearby Wi-Fi networks. Scroll down to the client SSID database section and scan SSIDs to find the network you want to connect to. Find the plus sign to the right of the network's name and click it to open the edit window. Assuming the network is password protected, enter the appropriate password here and click update, then click save. Scroll back to the Wi-Fi configuration section and after a moment you should see the status show it is connected to the Wi-Fi network you selected. We can also go back to the main dashboard again and verify the connections. That sums up our first time configuration using AirLink OS. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this.